In this tutorial, we're going to go over some doodly drawing tip, your own custom images into doodly. Now when you do, let's take a preview. You'll see they kind of scribble on in a diagonal fashion. That's the default draw type. So I'm assuming you've already watched our tutorial video that goes over how to work with um, drawing tasks. This tutorial is going to go over a few of the finer points. So let's go ahead and click on it. Click the edit icon and you'll see the scribble effect here. Now we had a user comment on that tutorial video wondering how precise your drawing paths need to be. And that's a great question. So I wanted to go over that today. So let's go ahead and start by creating a drawing path here. And obviously I have a very fat drawing. So I need to adjust the path size so that it's also fat, right? Because we want to cover up the black. Okay. So if I were to go like this, if you look over here, you'll see it doesn't uncover the entire stroke and then it uncovers part of the eyebrow, which I don't want. So I do need to be pretty precise here in that I want to not show something that I'm not ready to show and that I do want to show the strokes. I'm showing you with a circle because obviously you need to deal with the curves, right? And just depending where you are in that circle, you might miss a few spots. So you want to drag on the points just to make it nice. Now, in this case, I really don't have to be super precise at all because look, I've got a fat path and I'm able to cover it rather efficiently with that fat path. Now here's the caveat. I'm working on a very simple image. It's only got the two colors, black and white. So I can be pretty sloppy here and it's not gonna affect any other portions of the drawing. And it's a black line image intended to go on a whiteboard. So these white portions that I'm accidentally revealing will be invisible against the white. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at that. So see, that's really nice. But let's do the same thing with our colored emoji and you'll see you're gonna need to be a lot more precise on this one. And here's why. So remember, okay, let's start with the face. Okay, so let's say we wanna do the circle of the face. So I'm just laying down a few points here to get started. And then I'm gonna adjust my path size. And, you know, I wanna do this, reveal this pretty quickly. So I'm gonna, I want a fairly fat path size. But the problem is, you'll see, look how sloppy that is. I've got a little bit of his sunglasses showing and a little bit of his hair showing. So I either need to start, you know, maybe down here if I, if I wanna be kind of sloppy. <laughs> Look, if I want to do this where I'm outlining his face, it's going to be tough. And in my opinion, it doesn't look good to reveal all that hairline and parts of his glasses. So how precise do you need to be? Yes, you need to be pretty precise in this instance where you have color. So what I might do here is I might do that path and then I might come in with a new stroke and work on it this way. Now again, precision, see this, this gap here that looks terrible. So see that white gap, I wanna close the gap. So you're just gonna come in here and do that. Now maybe my new path might come in here and follow the, the glasses here, okay? Now it's too fat. So I'm going to adjust the path size and just play with it a little. And angles are kind of tricky. Let's see, I might want to close up this little section real quick before I follow the sunglasses. Now I'm going to go back here and I'm going to make sure I'm not touching this black. And it's okay to leave a little bit of this yellow showing because when we go back and do the glasses, 
that'll just come in. So if anything, maybe leave a slight gap there. Now, for this angle, you might want to do a quick point followed by a quick point and then by a longer one and then you can kind of adjust as needed. And you can see I'm getting some of that black. So see what I'm talking about? I don't want that black yet. So again, that's where precision comes in. So I'm going to give it even more space. And once you kind of have the outline, you can do some fatter ones. Try and fill the, the image quickly. Now remember, this is only going to draw in like three to five seconds, depending on the settings I choose. You know, I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing this drawing. So in that sense, you don't need to be perfect, okay? You just want to get the illusion that you're drawing it in one color at a time. Now here maybe I'm going to do a fat one and try and get this black in quickly. Okay, maybe I just want to... Now see, I got too crazy there, so now I need to bring it down. Now I'm going to do the glasses, and I don't want to reveal the hair or the forehead just yet. So I'm going to reduce the path size. Let me start there. So along the top, I want to be careful not to reveal the yellow. But we can fill in this, this gap down here where there's some yellow showing on the bottom in one fell swoop here. So in this case, I do want to cover the yellow. So now I can use a fatter path here because I don't have to be as precise because it's just black over black, right? Now you want to be careful with these extra points that come in because those are going to start revealing areas you might not want to reveal. Again, we don't have to be perfect, but we just want to be careful. I like to get several points laid down and then go back and make the little adjustments. I mean, I can get really big if I want. And then I don't have to be nearly as precise with that little curve there. My goal is to just get this done pretty quickly. Now I might want to follow this line here, you know, that curve there a little bit. Okay, and that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and hit save and return and take a peek. But it does go to show you that your simple images are going to be a lot faster and require a lot less effort on your part than the more complex ones. And if this guy had a background, a colored background, then you'd be, you'd need to be really precise when you're doing the outlines as well. I hope this answered some of your questions about how precise you need to be with your drawing paths.